Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm doing a reading. Late at night, I have lots of energy, I feel good. Um, whether you're watching this in the morning, the night, uh, lunchtime, dinner time, um, or in your sleep, who knows, sometimes that happens, you know? <laughs> I know many people that like just have playlists on and then they just fall asleep. Maybe this is in your sleep. Okay, so we're gonna do a free roam reading. I just feel intrigued. I, I don't know what's going to come through. Um, the, the quality of the camera is not great either, so who knows if I'm actually even going to manage to post this. We'll see what messages come through. To be honest, I don't really disregard a lot of readings, you know, and I don't really pick and choose like, oh, I'm going to put this up because it looks nice. But sometimes, you know, if the lighting looks really bad and you can't really see anything, it's a whole situation. So let me just grab these cards and we're going to see which direction we're going in. I thought we'd do a bit of a love reading. Yeah, because I've been doing a lot of like sort of non-love reading um, readings, <laughs> non-love reading readings for the zodiac signs, and so I think we do one for love. Okay, let's see, so eternal messages. Ooh, I've been thinking about proposing to you. Okay. Remember, proposals also do come in so many different forms, like, it can be marriage, but it can also be about, you know, a proposal for commitment, a proposal for going out somewhere, proposal for uh, arranging a time with you to talk to you. I really do miss you a lot, okay, so there's a missing energy here, with that proposal energy. Wow, I feel like this person's pretty triggered, like, they are going to come to you in some way, shape, or form. And then we also have here as well, I just know I'm obsessed with you. Okay, there's a lot of attachment on their side towards you here, right? Because they miss you, they're obsessed with you, which means that I believe as well, spiritually, from what I'm thinking, that they do think about you a lot, they dream about you, they are, yeah, that you're, you're on their mind a lot. When I say a lot, I mean like a lot. Um, and then I want to reconcile with you. So they want to make things work with you. So even if you're not in separation, let's say, um, they want to make things work. Um, reconciling is, is an energy that isn't just about like, okay, people that are separated that get together. It's also about just wanting to make things work with you. Now, for some of you, this could be a crush, okay? And they want to make things work. They, they miss your energy, you know, things like that. They, they want to actually be around you and, and make things happen. For some of you, this could be someone from the past. Just think of it as someone, I mean, some of you already know who you have in your mind and some of you may be like me, like, just whatever in regards to love. So that's what I see here, okay? So, um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> not the best of explanations. I, I'm not explaining things the best today, but look, it, there's a whole host of reasons for that because uh, Mercury energy is okay. I thought we'd go with some tarot as well. Love this deck so much, you guys. I'm going to plug this deck. You know why? Because I love it so much. This is one of the first decks I bought with my own money. It has held up so beautifully okay so beautifully this is golden universal and it is so golden i'll show you when the cards come out you know which i'll show you like a random card but uh yeah look i've like really used them a lot stunning um and just they're beautiful okay i just had to give them a plug because they're so good not that they really need that extra advertisement because i'm sure <laughs> it's made by a pretty big manufacturer to be honest anyways so there you go, see the beautiful gold, oh, there you go, gold foiling, stunning. Right, so six of cups. There is someone that is romantically interested in pursuing you. They miss you a lot. Now, this is probably someone that you've got in your mind. Many of you know exactly who this person is, and I guarantee that if you know who this person is, it is probably this person, okay? So I want to give you confirmation because I feel like many of you have sort of latched on to knowing exactly who this person is. You know who this person is. I'm telling you, I feel like, yes, it is that person, okay? So we also have the Page of Cups as well. Again, like I mentioned, for some of you, this is a new person that has their eyes on you. Um, this can be someone that you've known before, but it can also be someone from the past. Now, the only difference here is if you absolutely cannot stand anyone from your past, then it's not that person. Because naturally, I feel here that you would have attraction to this person. And if you, you know, if your past person just is not the person that you want to go to, this is a new person. Okay, so I just had to clarify that. I think it was very important for me to do that as well, so that we can move on to the reading, so that if some of you are like, I don't know who this is, Moonlight, 
there you go. Okay, now the other thing that I really wanted to mention here, see the death card shows that um, some kind of ending could have happened in your life and it was just really intense, very overwhelming, very frustrating. You've got strong water energy here, specifically pointing to Scorpio. Okay, so that's something I really wanted to mention. Um, this Scorpio energy is about rebirth, it's about healing, it's about moving through things. I think that many of you are being pointed into a direction of healing, looking after yourself, taking care of you, putting yourself first and really just doing what is necessary for you. That is going to then open up an entire cycle of opportunities towards fulfillment and joy and progression and happiness and uh, really give you what you're looking for. I forgot to do my introduction, but basically, uh, you know, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Also, um, private paid reading information is down below too. They're done on the same day with me, of course, um, within 12 to 24 hours. And of course, all the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with. Um, the review section is on my website as well. So yeah, definitely do check those out actually, because um, they're pretty special. There's so many items for like love, twin flame, soulmate, reconciliation, career, success, evil eye protection, you know, like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-pom tassels, embroidered cards, um, crystals, sage. Yeah, check it out if you're interested. I always do that at the beginning, but I was too busy probably talking about something else. Okay. Yeah, Harvin, see someone here wants to really build with you, okay? And the thing that I really see is that they they feel pretty bad. Like they feel like they should do be doing a lot more towards you. They feel like you deserve so much better. You deserve a lot of happiness, a lot of love, a lot of joy, a lot of commitment, a lot of fulfillment. And the Six of Cups also shows this sense of nostalgia, which is interesting. Even if this is a new person, it could be someone that sort of had their eye on you for a little while. And so there's this element of them like really wanting to make things work with you. You may even expect flowers from them because the um, Six of Cups shows that sort of flowery energy. And then, um, yeah, so... Magician, Mercury, Mercury is communication, they want to talk to you, right? Talking to you, they feel they can build the bond stronger, they can sort of connect to your heart and your energy and hopefully you will accept them. The Two of Swords here, okay? This is really about sometimes they're, they they can be held back, okay? And I'll tell you why. They can be held back because sometimes they, they think to themselves, I don't want to be rejected. I don't want to be rejected. That's going to hurt me a lot. What if I get rejected? That's going to be really painful. I don't want to be rejected. So they can sometimes be a little defensive, a little indecisive, a little confused as to should I go now or should I go now, okay? The magician here though shows that they have the intention to want to communicate with you because they know that that is something they want to do and that's something they should do. Three of Wands shows that it's really sort of interesting because the three of wands is an energy of the next three months okay so this is a timeless reading from whenever you're watching this the next three months something will happen now the other thing as well is you don't want to like hold on to the next three months and just mark it in your calendars and sort of count down all the days it's somewhere in the next three months that you'll get communication and a bit more of an idea about this person, you know, and, and they'll be progressive towards you. But again, you don't want to hold on to it because remember with the law of attraction, we must detach, let things naturally happen. Try not to get so attached to the outcome to the point that that's all you can think about because that will be a lot, you know, and then that can also cause delays. So another thing to keep in mind. And then we've got the nine of cups. So a desire of yours can really manifest here as well, which is interesting, you know. Two of Cups. Yep. This person wants to be with you, okay? They really do. I mean, the fact they want to reconcile with you, they miss you, they're thinking about proposing to you, right? They want to work on things. Oh, sorry. I am an upright reader, by the way. They want to work on things. They want to make things happen. They know that they need to put in some effort, but also at the same time, I think the reason why they're sort of being held back a bit um, and sort of taking their time with the Three of Wands is mainly because they don't want to be rejected. That is a clear-cut fear of theirs, and it definitely makes them feel very insecure and challenged, you know, and as I'm, as I'm sure many of you can understand that it can be quite like a, you know, quite a difficult thing sometimes um, when, you know, you don't want to get basically, uh, well, you don't want to be completely kind of rejected, you know, because it can, it can be a big blow to people's egos and sort of their, their energy as well. 
Um, but what's going to happen is that they'll come to you when they just feel like, you know what, I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. You could reject me and I guess that's fine. But at least I know I tried, you know. So that's really the biggest thing that I do see here for many of you is that there is such a powerful energy here of them wanting to come forward. Okay, so look, the moon here is about what's hidden coming to light. So their feelings right now towards you are a little bit more hidden. But over the next three months, a lot of this comes to light. A lot of this comes to the surface. I'm so glad that we got a time frame because I know so many of you asked me about the time frame. I will say this is a general reading time frame, so please do keep that in mind. Okay, it will resonate with some of you, but for those of you that are really attached to the time frame, remember things can delay. And obviously we don't want delays, so therefore it's good to sort of go with the flow, be in the here and the now, and just let things naturally come together. But see, we have this communicator energy with the King of Swords, so they will very much so upfront tell you how they're feeling towards you, what they're thinking, how they're feeling, etc. So Yes, how interesting is this? Because they feel like you're such a kind, genuine, caring person who's so attractive and they like you so much. So this is your reading. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. My TikTok and my Instagram are linked down below as I post short videos on there or readings on there every single day. And take care, everyone. I hope you do well. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Bye!